my channel. So today, as you can see, I'm looking very different at the minute, not very well. This is my zombie prom queen tutorial. Um, I went as this a couple of years ago for Halloween and it was so much fun. Very easy costume and you can also do it very last minute. Yeah, keep on watching if you want to learn how to get this look. I've also got an outfit. I literally bought the dress from New Look in the Sale or you can go to a charity shop. You just want a dress that you literally don't want to wear again and you're going to destroy which can also be suitable for a prom. And this sash I got offline, it just says prom queen on it. I bought it offline and then it didn't, it was very neat and I just covered it in blood and dirt basically. Please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy it and if you found it helpful and please subscribe as well if you haven't already and keep on watching to get this look. Well I'm going to get changed into my zombie costume so I thought why not just wear my onesie. For this zombie prom queen makeup tutorial you're going to have half your face normal makeup how you do it every day or you can jazz it up obviously as it is for prom and then the other half of your face you are going to be a zombie. So I've got some Smithies paint. This is light grey. You can use white paint or just any face paint. You can also use a really pale foundation or if you are allergic to face paint, which I used to be but I seem to have grown out of it, um, you can even put talc on your face and that would still work. And then I've got some sponges to apply it with. Harry seems to think it's food but it's not. And then you just need some water so I've just put it in a mug I haven't used it yet so I'm gonna have a little drink so I'm going to paint half my face grey don't forget to cover your lips as well because obviously they're gonna look dead depending on your costume I mean my dress that I'm going to be wearing goes quite it's quite a low neck I suppose um, so just bring it down to your neck just because you want it to look pretty realistic you can also go as far as painting your arms or your feet because you can go barefoot and that looks really effective okay so I've now painted half my face grey I'm going to sort of darken my eye out because your eyes do look sort of sunken in when you're dead um, I have bought this for Halloween purposely and this is a bruise wheel. If you wanted you can just use like a black eyeshadow or a grey eyeshadow. You can honestly use whatever suits you best. Go under it with the black first. Just put it on my sponge. So we're going to do a little bit of contouring because when you're dead you don't really have like cheekbones or like they're sort of sunken in. Now I'm going to put some red under my eyes. And on my eyelid as well, in the corner. Oh I just spread it about. I've just blended the red a little bit onto my sort of contour line as well. Gone a bit under my jawline. And now you can add blood or scratches. Um, I've got this really cool thing which I've got which is very new and it's called Rigid Collidian. I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right. It just looks like a little pot of nail polish and you literally put it on your skin, you just sort of paint it on, wait for it to dry and you add a few layers and it just makes your skin tighten and it makes your skin look sort of creased and it just adds a really good fake scar if not you can use PVA glue and just stick it on and just wait for that to dry it does make your skin feel tight um, that is normal I'm gonna add some more Just waiting for that to dry for quickness like if you are in a rush like I said you can just use a hairdryer and that will dry it we can fan it I feel like I'd quite like to put one on my forehead as well so I'm just gonna add one 
that stuff is dried now. I don't know if you can see, but it looks really quite effective. And then I've got one here. So now I'm going to get my fake blood. Blood gel, it's like a more, it's like a thicker blood. Um, so it's more like a theatre blood. Or if not an alternative, you can use just a cheap one from Poundland, which is blood spray. You can use either or, but this one is better for like detail. This is how like thick it is. To be more precise, I'd like to use a little paintbrush. Also zombies like they bleed from their orifice, so the holes, so you can have blood from your nose. I'm also gonna put a little bit just near my eye, but be careful obviously you do not want it going in your eye. Okay, I just want to add a little bit more. That's my blood done. So this side you can obviously glam up and do however you want your makeup to look. I'd probably do some darker eyeshadow in that. Okay, so this is done for my face. I'm gonna do my body now. So I really hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up again if you did and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you all next week with another video. Thank you very much for watching. Bye! Harry is destroying my background. <laughs> what are you doing? little face.